We always ask our guests to leave our listeners and viewers with one tip, one strategy. Um, it could come from a mindset perspective, something that you've learned in business, entrepreneurial, or just from any aspect that you want to drop or drop some content and fire knowledge on our viewers and listeners. Marcus, thank you. The thing that we've all got to remember, each one of us, is that our life speaks to us in a language that only we understand. And when we are drawn to people, whether it's people we're trying to sell to, our customers, our clients, our prospects, whether it's other members of our team who might be drawn to us, when people are drawn to us, it's because we have figured out what are the particular aspects of our life, whether it's activities, context, situations, people, what are the particular aspects of our working life that we love? I think of these as red threads, that everyone's job is made up of fabric of many, many different threads, black, brown, white, gray, whatever, a lot of different activities, a lot of different people, a lot of different situations, some of which we put up with, some of which uh, we lean away from. But some of these uh, threads are red. Some of the activities we get invigorated by, some of these activities we lean into, some of these situations we get thrilled by, every one of us is different. But every single one of us has red threads in our life. And what we know from data, a lot of Mayo Clinic work on resilience and performance, um, you don't need an entirely red quilt for your job to be super successful and fulfilling. In fact, the number appears to be somewhere between 19, 23, 24%, somewhere in there. If you have, let's call it 20%, you have 20% of your job as red threads, 20% of your job, just 20% of your job is activities that invigorate you, then you are a different human. You feel different, you're sexier, more driven, more compelling, more authoritative, you learn more, you bounce back faster. 20% of your job, and it doesn't seem as though you get 30%, that's even better, 40%. You actually don't seem to get that much more of a bang if you get a high, but you get below 20, 19, 18, 17. There's almost a linear relationship between the reduction in how much time you spend doing stuff you love and your increased risk of burnout. So the one thought I would leave everyone with is find your red threads, find the activities, situations, or people that really invigorate you and take the responsibility for weaving them into your working life. Because if you don't, no one else will. No one knows what your red threads are as, as vividly as, as you do. And although Laura didn't learn hers until she was 35, maybe, it's never too late to identify what your red I'm threads are and now. weave them into contribution. <laughs> yeah. You're learning it now. Well, great. That's yeah. my, that's my final thought. It's never too late to learn what your strengths are.